So here's a tech tip. Many of us know that Unix and Unix-like systems such as Linux, everything's a file. From your keyboard, to your mouse, to your webcam, or even your flash drives can all be written to and read from, in most cases, like you would any other file on your system. I've even shown in the past how you can take a drive, a flash drive or an internal hard drive, and you can actually use grep to look for text files that were deleted without any special recovery software. In most cases, if we wanted to flash an image to a flash drive or an internal hard drive, we would use a tool like DD. So in most cases, you would do something like DD, IF for in file, my.iso, OF for out file, and you would give it your drive's name. And DD is a great tool with a lot of features, but if you're just copying one image to a drive, you don't even need it. You can just use the cat command. You'll need to be root to do this, but you can cat your ISO file right into your drive like so. And that's great. And although that's less known than DD, that is a fairly common piece of knowledge. But think about this. If your drive is a file, you can download right to that drive. Now obviously when I say download right to that drive, I don't mean just download an ISO as a file to that drive. You can download an ISO or an image and install it to that drive with one simple wget command. So for example, I have this one gig flash drive and let's say I want to install a distribution of Linux on there to run on multiple machines. I could download the ISO and then copy it over using dd or cat. But let's say I don't want to download it. I just want to put it, well, I want to download it, but I don't want to save it on my computer. I just want to put it directly on the flash drive. And for either I just don't want to, or maybe you're just running on a system that doesn't have any storage space and you want to get that ISO on this flash drive. Let's do that. Go ahead and plug in my flash drive. Of course, make sure the drive is not mounted when you start writing to it. And with one simple wget command pointing at a URL, I can then set the output to my drive. Of course, being very careful that you pick the proper drive. I'll hit enter. It will start downloading the file and writing directly to that drive. As soon as it's done downloading, I wait to make sure that it's done writing and I pull the drive right out. Let's try that again. I pull the drive right out. Since the drive was not mounted, I don't even need to unmount it. I just unplug it, choose my USB drive, and it starts booting. And less than a minute later, I have a full desktop running off that flash drive. Of course, I did this with wget. You should be able to use curl as well. I might avoid some of those downloaders such as um, Axel or Area 2, I think is how you say that, Area 2C, uh, one of those multi-piece downloads because I'm not sure if that's going to write to the drive right where wget and curl are going to download the file sequentially, probably a better idea there. Um, so there you go. You can install an ISO from the internet directly to a drive without having to save it to your computer first and without having to use any special tools. Just your download tool and writing directly to the drive since on Unix and Unix-like systems, everything's a file. I hope you found this useful. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day. Huh. I wonder if you don't even need wget or curl. You could probably just use dev tcp and bash.